two-day Dakar International Forum on Peace and Security in Africa. The forum is held under the auspices of Senegal's President uh, Macky Sall, with the participation of several leaders and top officials from different countries, in addition to representatives of many companies, global and regional organizations. Entitled Challenges of the African Stability After the Coronavirus Pandemic, the gathering this year will focus on stability and growth challenges in post-pandemic Africa. Meanwhile, Foreign Minister Samesh Shokri has given the next statement exclusively to NAL TV's correspondent, Heni Farag. Uh, now on the march of Dakar International Forum on Peace and Security in Africa, uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, Mr. Sam Shukri, we, uh, we are uh, honored to be with us in NALTV International. Uh, the importance of this gathering and the importance uh, even the, of the, the timing uh, uh, in, uh, in which we are, uh, we are now. This is an important forum uh, to again re-emphasize the importance of uh, dialogue, uh, solidarity among African states and uh, their international partners, uh, the ability of uh, Africans uh, through dialogue, through cooperation, through uh, uh, frank discussion to address the challenges that face the continent and to uh, set the course for the future, taking into account the importance of uh, setting the stage for future generations. The continent is 65% uh, under the age of uh, 40 and thereby uh, the uh, perspective for the new generations and how to uh, provide a better environment for them, both economically and politically, is one of the main uh, factors of this uh, forum. Yeah. What is the message that you want to deliver uh, via this forum, via this gathering? The message of uh, solidarity, of our uh, mutual ability and complementarity to deal with our challenges and that Egypt is uh, continually in support of its uh, African brethren, whether in uh, terms of conflict resolution, uh, the uh, eradication of terrorism, uh, in the eradication of the uh, pandemic, and uh, in providing the opportunity for development, for increasing the infrastructure on the continent so that it can take full advantage of its resources, especially the human resources that are available and very competent to deal with all of these issues.